Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. This is the sort of the core of my new Holmium production facility that I've been uh, working on since ever since the last episode. As you probably remember from the last one, I'd built up, well, I'd landed on this this uh, this very very purple and swampy planet, and I'd started building up all of the supplies I needed in order to get everything ready for me for, to, to ship out ship the Holmium back off to my uh, space base, where I can start using it to produce the um, the actual energy science packs that I've been wanting to make in order to well for a couple of reasons really I, the, I wanted the the energy science both for um, in order to produce the um, energy the actual energy science itself to allow me to do different types of research and get that and get some more of that done but I also wanted it to um, so I could use the, the significant data from now I could use the insights from it to make significant data more efficiently so I started off by building up this um, power station down here, as I, I mentioned. It's um, my standard nuclear model. We've got the um, four power plants and the four reactors in the middle, filling up filling up these tanks with steam. Once the, once the tanks are full, the, um, the reactors turn off, and we use up the steam until we've and, and uh, until uh, well until it's all gone and we run out of power. So I've got this machine here making the um, the fuel cells for this. And I've run this belt of iron all the way down here because you need that as well. And then this this um, delivery cannon chest is picking up the uranium from um, that's being shipped up directly from Norvis. Now it's not actually running at the moment. I need to go in there and do a little bit more programming. Actually, now I look at it, I need to stick in a um, a constant combinator to say how much of each of the thing I, things I want to have. And then I need to wire up the other end back on Norvis. And that's something I can't really do at the moment. If we have a look over here, not not quite here down here yes there we go so this is all set up properly um although it's getting the wrong signal that's interesting i'm gonna have to have a look at that um channel eight maybe it's meant to be channel nine let's try let's try let's try i, I wrote this down somewhere where did i write it down no. here we go yes nine nine is supposed to be the uranium um okay there we go so that's Good. So that that's now receiving. Yes, there we go. We can see the see the uranium that's at the other end. There's no none of the uranium two three eight, the uh, the dark green stuff, because that actually gets used up faster than the um, than the than the light green, which is um, not quite how I remember it being. But I don't know whether that's my memory or whether it's the um, or whether the mod pack has changed the recipes around. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's power. That was relatively straightforward. Then, as I was talking about in the previous episode, I've set up all these mines over here. So I've got coal, holmium, copper, and stone, and oil down here as well. And these were all really close together, so that was quite easy. Um, squeezing the stations in was not not difficult, but a little bit of a squeeze. One of the things I did realise is I didn't bring remotely enough mining drills with me, so I've had to start making those on site here. So we've got a little um, chain of assembly machines around here that is building up all of the inserters because I didn't bring enough of them either and the mining drills so that I can um, so, that, so that I can have in, actually have enough but these are all all uh, replete as you can see the um, all of these are the, the stations are all completely full maybe except maybe the oil uh, the oil might not be let's have a look at that no even the oil station is completely full so we're not really using very much up in the way very much in the way of resources at the moment because because this base is essentially idle now we are probably producing some art. Oh no, even. Ooh. Okay, I need to go up and stick some more pylons in up here. So that's something else to do. Um, I've obviously missed a few. Yeah, because there should be one in there. Oh, it's because there's um, there's water there. I need to go in and with up, up there with some landfill and, uh, and do a bit of a bit of patching up. Uh, these two though, I think though those will be, yeah those will be able to get their their, their um, power supplies. Okay, so iron I have been using a bit in in order to make the um, the inserters and the drills, and I've also been, I've even had to make uh, green circuits on site here. I've only got one machine making them, but um, it's it was needed. I, I, I ran out for the, the the green circuits for the uh, the split the uh, inserters I've been making, and actually by the looks of it, I've basically run out of red circuits as well. Um, that's a bit of a well, it's not a concern because I I ended up, I I've got enough inserters now. I finished it, finished everything, but it looks like I'm rather close to running out of those as well. And they're a bit more complicated. Then your plastic and other stuff as well, which is up here. So it'd be possible, but uh, again, an extra faff. Pipes are also something I kept running out of. But that's uh, that's all sorted out now. So over here, I've got my oil refineries here. These ones are actually refining oil, so they bring get taking in the crude oil that's coming by in by train that's being dropped off at the station up here. It's piped over here, and then there. Th these are all set up with the basic recipe, the one that. Um, so there's a couple of different ways of dealing with crude oil. 
Um, there's this one that, that produces uh, 90 petroleum gas from the oil and the water. And then there's a, some other ones. Yeah, these, these two that produce heavy and light oil as well. And I looked at the numbers and I scratched my head a bit. And I'm pretty sure that this one actually gets you more petroleum gas than these two do. And because petroleum gas is the only part of it I need, I don't need light oil or a heavy oil. I thought I'd just go in for the easy one and just, just produce that. I do have, in case the oil runs out later or I'm using it up too quickly, I've got an additional couple of machines at the top here that are set up to do coal liquefaction. But I've set up this um, uh, belt condition here. So this this one this is watching the um, the tank down here and making and, and so if there's less than I don't know probably 5,000 petroleum gas or something like that, then this belt will turn on and will allow the coal pass and then these machines will kick in and we'll start making. Um, We'll start making the all, all of the other ingredients, except we won't because there's actually no heavy oil in these. I should put some of that in just to get the um, the machine started because they they require a little bit as a as an initial catalyst, which you then get back with interest afterwards. So I need to pump some of that in, but that's again not 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 difficult. The rest of this is the same as the um, the system I had set up on Frost. So we've got these two that will convert the heavy and light oil to petroleum gas um, if necessary. Then we're making sulfur for um, sulfuric acid and for explosives and for um, um, heat shields as well, apparently. Uh, then we're making plastic, and that's used in all kinds of places. We've got sand being made as well and, um, and glass, and all of that's for making the low-density structures. Um, essentially, all of that gets passed down here. We make explosives, we make um, stone tiles, we make uh, heat, heat shields and wire, and then all of that goes into here to be made into the delivery cannon capsules, which then get loaded straight into the um, into the delivery cannons as requested. The delivery cannon is then hooked up to the um, this dish. This is number I don't know what number this is set up as, but I'll, I'll need to go in and make sure I've got this one set up to, to uh, talk to. I'll probably send this to Norvis, and then because then I can send it off to other places afterwards if I need to. So I need to get that linked up appropriately to start firing it at at Norvis. Uh, then on the other side we've got the, the actual Holmium processing itself. So that's being shipped in over here and then we've got um, so it was, firstly it's being crushed and then the crushed Holmonite is being washed so add, add water and you get the washed stuff out and this produces stone as well and this, so I've got this um, filter here that passes the stone out down here and it goes off down there which I'll touch on in a moment and then we pass it on to here where it gets combined with the uh, cation beads and more water and that produces so this is an interesting process it um i'll just go uh, i am i'm over there okay so if we look at this one it takes in one washed holmonite and outputs half a washed holmonite on average uh, so it only uses up half of the ingredients you put into it and the same is true for the uh, cation beads um uh, but you also have there's also a sort of a, i guess I guess in a way there's a 50% chance it doesn't do anything and it just it fails in inverted commas and just passes the inputs back out again. There's also 50% chance it produces some holmium powder and half a sand so that, that, gets, that, that will eventually get spat out. And that's why I've got this sort of big array down here of um, other splitters doing, doing all the filtering. So we're filtering out the, the actual holmium powder that's the stuff I want to go over here. Then the sand gets passed down onto the other side of the belt that's taking the stone away, and then the the uh, cation beads and the washed holmium get passed around here onto this belt and back into the, into the system again. And I've got a priority in there, so we'll use this side by choice. Uh, so in theory, we shouldn't end up with, the ba with it backed up. And if I go over here and grab some grab some of the holmium um, ingots just to get that just to get the machine working again, you can see how this works. It pulls the um, the powder through and it will grab it off the belt and then this flows through and it, it gets filtered as, as as applicable and then sorted out neatly over here and, and down here so yeah it works we then cook the powder um, into the into the ingots and then those can be loaded into the delivery cannon as i said earlier i've learned from last time i didn't start making them into um, into plates on 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 site because I know that's not uh, not going to work. <laughs> um, you can't put you can't put plates into the delivery cannons, and you wouldn't want to anyway because it'd be less efficient. So the delivery cannon then can fire everything off to the back back home to my uh, my main base. The sand, as 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 is probably fairly standard for, uh, for my my sort of bills, the sand and stone are then fed down here along this um, overflow or this no this recycling belt I guess comes along here, and we've got a filter filter inserter here that will if there's um that, that makes it all so it all gets made into landfill but only if there's an ex ex excess of it if we're producing it faster than it's being used so as you'll see this sand will just go straight through there because we've got an output priority on this side um as will as will this stone 
and then we split off the sand to go one way and the stone to go the other. We've got another um, prioritization here. So the sand, this sand gets fed up here where it can be turned into glass and the stone gets fed around here. It's, it's a bit of a tangle but it'll get fed in here eventually and where it's used to make more sand for glass and also passed along here to make oh bricks for this and oh yeah bricks for this as well so potentially all of the resources that, that are produced that are coming out of here will be reused down here and won't actually get turned into landfill um, I have made some landfill because I need it for the base building but it's, but I've turned that off now uh, so it's not going to be it's not going to be making it um, unless except except as a way of storing overflow essentially so over here we've got all the stations that are bringing in all the resources I need. I touched on these last time, but they're they're all full now. So we've got the um, coal station here, oh, I'm dumping onto the belt. The copper gets smelted, of course. I don't need very much copper, so I mean these are probably way this is probably way more copper smelting than I actually need. But you know I thought I'd just slap down nine of them because it's an easy number, um, and then and then so that's fed onto the bus. Stone straight onto the bus to be turned into sand. Holmium goes down in there as well. Iron ore gets turned into iron and steel because we need both of those for this process. But there's, happily there's plenty of iron on this planet so it's nice and easy. And then oil gets dropped off here as well. I've also got a new oil um, station up here. I thought this is so cl th this oil patch was so close to the railway. I thought I might as well claim it. So we've got another set of tanks here. And these, these are filling up a bit more slowly. I think this is a smaller oil patch. And it's also not been there for as long. And over here, finally, we've got the um, the LTN depot, where my, my trains sit until they're needed. We're loading them up with rocket fuel. There's 100, 110 rocket fuel in here. Now, we're not actually making any more on this planet, so um, I'm a little bit torn as to what, exactly what to do about this. Um, I could start making rocket fuel and shipping it over here. I've got the I've got the oil. Um, I'd need to, I'd need to start making light oil, but that is a thing I can do. Um, so I could make rocket fuel to power the trains, um, but this this 110 plus all the trains being full already with like 30, 30 300 I don't know a significant amount of rocket fuel is going to keep is going to keep it all going for a while. So I probably won't bother. And when this runs out, I'll send a coal train in to dump coal into this um, into this chest instead, and we'll start running them on coal instead. I'm not in that much of a hurry. And rocket fuel is far more valuable for getting rocket for flying rockets around. Oh, there's some more in here actually. I could take these. Um, there's like 180 in there, so I could take that up there as well. But I probably won't. I think I'll just leave it as it is. So that's basically done. I'm um, producing holmium at a what I what I hope is going to be an adequate rate. I mean, I, I don't really know because I've not started I've not started using it yet. So. I guess we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, there's a couple of things I need to finish off on this planet. Um, I needed to put in some power poles up here, I think. I'm sure there was something else I needed to do as well, but it probably wasn't too important. And then I can head off. Um, and yeah, that's and that's basically it for this. I can this should now be fire and forget. I can just leave this alone now, and it will it will keep running and keep ticking over and exporting the Holmanite. And then I can head over back to my space station over here. And, ooh, that's quite a lot of um, insights flo flooding around there. In fact, this is... Oh, that's interesting. Huh, my memory cards are backed up. That, that I was not expecting. Oh, but it's because this... Is it because the waste ones are backed up? Uh, uh, ooh, yes. So what's happened here is that all of the um, the 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 used memory cards, the the reused, used memory cards, that's these grey ones that need to be reformatted, and the white ones are just ready to be straight up reused again. I've flooded out here. There's loads of them coming up here to be recycled here. This machine has been recycling them and spitting out mostly good ones that are ready to use again, and some actually completely broken ones that just need to be thrown away and recycled. Those recycling ones have now filled up <clears throat> this belt complete. This belt is now completely full of of junk. And now this is supposed to be dumped into a chest down at the end here, which presumably means the chest is also full. Yes. So this right, this has stopped working because because of all that. Hmm. I might need to put do in, do some more on-site recycling. That's that's a bit of a problem. Um. It's because. Right, so these are bit, yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of broken memory cards being spat out, and a lot of a lot of 
um, what do we call it? Junk. Um, what? Yeah, whatever. It, whatever this stuff is. And that has successfully clogged up my uh, my system because this this was relying on me going in there and cleaning it out manually um, by loading it into a into a pod and then bringing it back down to um, back down to Norvis. So that's that's why this is this has run into a problem. I could try and put it on both sides of the belt, but yeah, that's, that's just a temporary fix. I'm going to I need to come back up here anyway, so I can I can empty that by hand. But that's um, interesting. It's also quite interesting that that's been the case for so long. That we've now pumped through enough of the um, enough of this this is well this is backed up we've got all of these insights flooding around here and even this has stopped presumably because have we run out of memory cards on the input as well yes we have so because they're not getting looped round and recycled we've run, we've run all the um, the input here has run out of memory cards as well so yeah that kind of sucks um, I'm going to need a better way of dealing with that uh, what, what's, what's it called is it, um, it's not trash, is it? No. Um, it's whatever these turn into. Scrap. Okay, scrap. What do we do with scrap? We could turn it into metal ores and potentially oil. Turn it into landfill again. Oh, 100 scrap makes one landfill, so that might be a good way of just packing it. Although, again, it's it's not something I want to use up here. Or I can put it in a delivery can and send it back to Norvis and, and scrap it down there. But... I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to start using delivery cannons from up here because I don't have the resources to make capsules. So let's not do that. I'll probably just turn it into landfill. I and mean, it feels dirty, but I don't know what else to do with it really. I could use. <laughs> let's set this to. Um... Oh yeah. Let's set this to request the um, scrap. No, not that. Scrap. 500 of it. Oh, and also request from buffer chests. And then this, instead of doing that, can do landfill for scrap. There we go. So it's, I mean, it's a, it's kind of temporary solution for a couple of reasons. One is that I'm going to end up filling this warehouse up with landfill. But, land, but it's 100 scrap to one landfill, and landfill stacks up to 100. So we can push 10,000 through before we start to get, before we use up an entire, before we even use up one stack of space in this warehouse. And there's loads of room in there. So that's not really a concern. Um, the other slight concern is the memory cards that are going to be being put in here. These broken memory cards are not being dealt with. I think they turn into. They do turn into scrap, but that's a two-step process. So I'm gonna I'd need to sort of loop that round somehow and perhaps put down another Do I have another one of these? I don't have room for another one of these. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I've got another one of these up here. Um, I'll make sure I bring up another recycling plant when I come back up and we can we can set that up to do the do the memory cards as well. But this will yeah, this'll sort of, this'll sort that out. Um, and now we should find this. Was it here? Yes it is. It's dumped out all of the broken memory cards now. They've all they've all gone. So this is now running through and reformatting the memory cards for reuse. So in fact that's that's eaten that up pretty quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's gone through n nice and quickly. We're feeding a lot of memory cards down there but yeah, what can you do? <laughs> uh, that's just going to have to have to happen and yeah so these are going to get passed over here. That will hopefully mean that the this belt, where is it? The belt's bringing these up. Okay, yeah, it has to work through all of these first, and then it can spit them through. I mean, it, normally it wouldn't be. I was just wondering whether I should put in a splitter along here somewhere that sorts the um, the memory cards onto one side and the uh, the good memory cards onto one side and the ones that need reformatting onto the other, just to get them flowing through again. But it's probably not necessary. In, in, as I say, in normal use, that shouldn't be necessary at all. It should just work, TM. Um, the, the, the machine, the reformatting machine, should be able to keep up. So I think I'll just just leave that, and this can just run through these as quickly as it can, and hopefully that'll get everything running again nicely. Um, I still, I still need to come up here and do other stuff anyway. But yeah, okay, that's been a, a brief diversion. Uh, let's come back to back to Holmanite Planet. Um, Henkasuki, Susie, Swiss, yeah, yeah, that place. 
and head back over to my... No, not head back over to the rock yet. There's a couple of things left to do, but I'll get those done off camera before the next episode. So, next time, I'm going to be back on the space station and I'm going to be starting trying to make um, energy science. And this is actually fairly straightforward. There's um, a bit of... I'm going to need to start making green circuits in space, I think, because I can't ship um, the... I can't ship them up by... I can't ship green circuits up by delivery cannon, but I can ship up the ingredients, the, um, the stone and the uh, copper. And then I can start making the um, next start making the, all of the energy science. I think I've got everything else I need up there. Oh no, there's uranium, and I need to bulk up the production of mirrors. But basically, I think most of the stuff I need is going to be up there. I'll have a bit more of a think about that before I go up, and hopefully do a little bit of planning. You know, never know. I might get this right one day, and then we can uh, we can take it from there. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when uh, I'll be back in space. <laughs> Thanks for watching.